He, well, might, he might be on a limb if he uh, starts hitting trees. He plays the way he plays. He likes it. Look at that. Pick the tee out. I'll just give. But watch where it lands. Boing. Well, perfect. if you can do that. If you can do that. It's going to be interesting to watch him try to play it that way. Bryson DeChambeau after that drive here at one. So has he got the calculations? The grooves have been sharpened. Not, no dramas. It looks like it's a pretty good start. Just turned 27 yesterday. Come on, stop. Yep. Wow. Uh, well. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> eventually. DeChambeau for birdie. There's it. There it is. There's the formula. All Smash right. it down the fairway, wedge it on the green, hold the putt. What'd you say? It As I said, done. Abso I'm 100% willing. Yeah. That's right. the way to do it. And with a plan to shambo off the tee. And he just sends this and it is off to the right just a bit. I'm obscured by the trees, guys. He went right over them, trying to go right well, over there's, there's, I can't. There's, there's six oaks in there. Why is okay, it's manageable. He's going to be able to try and get something maybe to the front edge. He took a direct line, risky line, and it paid off. So even though he clattered it through the trees, it still went 340. Back at two. A oh, very good look here coming down the hill. Going to work from left to right. Oh, just hit it a little too hard and just right through the break. Good second putt there. Opens with a birdie, follows it up with a par there at the second. And a bogey there at the second. Good afternoon, gentlemen. It's very nice to be with you this afternoon. 220 yards to the front for Bryson. This one trying to hang on to the left side yeah. of the green. Oh, go, go, go off there. No. That's interesting. Just all about judging how it's going to come out of this lie. Came out a little hot. Man, sometimes guys will get the, the toe down in the ground a little bit on that shot, lean that shot forward and try to use the toe side of the blade. We need to start this just on top of the edge. Some good early strokes for DeChambeau. DeChambeau, he's got the big stick out. 303 to cover that bunker and he's hit it good. He drops mail on that, doesn't he, Trevor? I think he's got it. <laughs> we just, some great camera work there. We were able to follow it through the tree. I mean, he flew that thing. 105 to the hole. All right, looks like he's going in the air the whole way. That's the part of his game, though. If he, if he uh, figures out how to play wedge shots a little bit better, he's not very good from 50 to 125, 50 to 150 yards. One of the opening holes now. On the green, the shambo. Boy, that had to look pretty good. Love the speed. 312 to get it past that bumper. Uh, get left just a little bit. Come on, Win. Should be good. And it is. Well, he said he was going to play aggressive off the tee. If he starts hitting fairways with, as far as he hits it off the tee, wow. Maybe this is the week. Who knows? Over at the fifth, DeChambeau. This is a long brute of a par four. The hole's just in the front right. There's a backstop, but he flew it past there, so he's going to have a slick downhiller. And from his right to left, but Bryson very loose out here so far in the early going. Lots of smiling. Most. Something tells me that uh, if this misses the green, he'd love to be in the front bunker. Boy, hammered at the left edge of the green. Good looking line. That's a good line indeed. That will be a really hard shot, though. I'm not sure he's got enough room there. Oh, that man. is actually a mistake. So I think it makes these shots a lot more difficult. Well, you were talking about his, his wedge play earlier, if he can get it down. And he, heavy handed right there. Yeah. You know what I'd like to see him do? Make a concession and go with his 60 and his 54 or how, whatever his wedge setup is for that week. Certainly we don't want to
close the toolbox on that one. Gonna make another birdie there at 11. It's six to Shambo. Settles for par. Again, he took a rip at it. This seventh green would give them a decent birdie putt no matter where the hole was cut. That's exactly right. Just get it on the right level. This is an aggressive play. Playing right at the flag. Yeah, taking it on right over the top of it. Will it come back a little bit? Yes, it will. One of those big shoulders that was uh, restored with the restoration here. Not only the west course, but the east course. And you can use them to your advantage. The shamble over at the seventh for birdie. And this is a good start for DeChambeau. No bogeys, two birdies, two under, three back. I have to get this up, that one tree hanging over there. Ah. Oh, this is left, what? going left. Yeah. He's more, oh, that is almost in the bunker on the third hole. Sorry, the second hole. Up to the green, DeChambeau for birdie. Well, I'm 0 for 2 on the reads so far in this group on this hole. And that was pretty good, just a touch too much speed. Yeah, he had it figured out. The only mistake he's made, Trevor, was the drive here at 8, and he recovered from that. It never looked like a 4 off the tee, but ho-hum. He heads over to number 9. Wind. Ah. Hung it, I think, out to the right. Bunker. How about DeChambeau here? He's right up under the lip, just trying to get about 110 yards out of it. Both players in good shape after Aaron T shots. And if you want to get this close, you have to be so precise with your distance control. That is one tough hole location on nine. Pretty good distance control from an awkward position, so DeChambeau will have that to tap in. To be out in two under par in his opening nine of the 120th U.S. Open. Difficult hole today, right now, this par three. Well, I can see it. Anything in that right bunker, again, it's going to be 20 feet, 15 feet below the green. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Seen some good ones. Anything on that green, I think these guys are going to be pretty happy. And uh, it rolled a long way, so maybe Bryson watched. out. Wow. What a two for DeChambeau. Is that any good? Look where he's gone. DeChambeau now at 11. And he's got the big stick out. That's an aggressive move on this short par four that is headed left. This is one of the easiest holes out here. Just hit an iron in the fairway, some kind of wedge. But Bryson, again, you know, he's defying the odds this week and going to do it his way. DeChambeau. After some good drives, this one misses to the left, way down there, as you see again. Well, that is his game plan. He is sticking to it, and it's working for the moment. Three under, tied for third. Shambo at 11. Should start breaking back. Boy, he's hit some good putts, hasn't he, Trevor? Especially these downhill putts that are you know, really quick coming down here, and some of them even have double breaks to them, and uh, he's got everything dialed in right now. Sure does. His speed has been great. Give it a rip. May have overcooked it. Yeah, this is hitting a little lift. And that is a layup. DeChambeau with his third after having hit his tee shot left. Well, this is going to come back. There's a bunch of slope right here. 
excuse me, he just on the opposite side, there's a kind of a, a ridge, sort of a spine right there. Downhill, left to right, very fragile putt here. Just gonna air it out on the left and let it roll down to the hole. Just need to slice a touch more. Well, hold good two putt after driving in the rough at the par five, 12th hole. Shambo remains two behind the lead of Justin Thomas at three under par. As Caddy told me the other day, he's hitting six irons, 235. Uh oh. Well, the left hand side is going to get some action. Man, that missed the bunker like left. <laughs> My goodness. Boy, that was gutsy. I mean, he took a lot of risk. If that comes up short, he's in a bad spot again. Good shot. Just a touch too much speed or that was going in. First drop shot of the day. Now three shots behind the lead of Justin Thomas, who shot 65 this morning. Nice. Seems Thank to like it. It's on a very nice line here, guys. That'll work. 449. Like that one, the way he's putting. Right. Yes, it did. Had a good shot on the last hole from a similar distance. Let's see if he can keep dialing these wedges in. This one's got to get down. That's what we talked about earlier, though. I mean, he drives it so well and so long that the wedge play. We see faster greens and we see slopier greens. Yeah. We seldom see the combination like this. There she goes. Will it come back? Yeah, the higher he hit it, the worse it would have got. So that's actually pretty that's damn That's actually yeah. very, very well done. <laughs> yep. Still going, but <laughs> a good <laughs> Just Should stop here at some point. He's not heading it far yeah, enough. I think he should go with two drivers then. Have the long one and the, and the fairway finder. <laughs> Well, we know that Phil did that for a while. Yeah. He needs to take it right over the corner of the trees on the left-hand side. It's a little left, isn't it, Tim? He got it around the corner, but in the primary cut of rough there. Upon arriving at his ball, Bryce looked to his caddy, Tim, and said, I believe I can carry the tree. So he's going to give this one a rip high, and it's certainly going to take care of the tree we talked about right center of the green yeah has to, to go a little bit it lands did. softly i mean <laughs> guy's good out of the rough Gambo with a chance for a birdie up the slope tiny bit of break to the left <laughs> yeah it's to get to three under within two of the lead You could tell his body language. He knew it was out right early. Doesn't stop you from begging, but it's going to be a par four at 16 for DeChambeau. He'll remain two under par. And certainly in good position. Two holes to play in his opening round at the 120th U.S. Open. Pummeled. Thank you. Let's see what the carry is here. 299, but he, I think he thought he had got that bunker. But she's done. The scrambling man. Yeah, he's is, got some good hands around the green. Yeah, we talked about his power. Today. How about it, Bones? It's been impressive. Hmm. 
think, Kurt, with only four degrees loft as we watch this bogey putt, the ball's going to skid more than if it would have a little bit more loft. You know, it's interesting. Yesterday in his uh, final preparations for this tournament, going with driver at 18. It's like playing through goalposts. It's a tight tee shot off the tee. Opens up once you get up in the landing area. And he was able to turn that over enough that it didn't go through and in great. The fairway prime spot for a second. Four and a half percent. So this way it kicks it so hard to the left. So you've got to keep it high and then it's like a fish hook. Uh, run out of speed. Well done for DeChambeau. He's rounding 69. As you said, Kurt, anything in the afternoon at Wingfoot mm. under par is uh, a good score. He's four back. Health, maintenance of his body and all of these issues as he's bulked up and hit the ball deeper here. This is hard to left over there as well. Unlike Woodlands, you can kind of see there from how Jupiter, it could hit and Florida, our 2016 U.S. Open champion Dustin Johnson. It is back in place. Sock is dry. Second shot. Yeah, he did have a nice lie, as Trevor said. Not a very, not a very big backswing. Usually, the worst lie it is. Uh, you see guys take more of a bunker type of swing. Come back slightly uphill here, breaking to his left. Has it hit it hard enough? No. Hmm. So it'll be a bogey for DeChambeau to open this second round. <laughs> 186 yeah. ball speed. <laughs> Never been anywhere near there. <laughs> Look at that. Drove it right between the bunkers. 72 yards. Good opportunity to land it just by the hole. Bring it back. Sounded a touch heavy, though. Oh, just good enough. You stay. You stay. Yeah, that's actually helping there. Getting off that slope will leave a straighter putt. All right. Well, again, the game plan. Use that driver, get down there. That looks 80. very good there, Kurt. <laughs> yeah. He didn't leave anything in the bag, Trevor. It, it only carried 285, but that was back into the breeze. 185 mile an hour balls. It's a good looking shot. Yep. That'll be a little quick, but good shot. Huge break from the right as well. talked about it yesterday he's really become besides everybody talking about his driving prowess yeah, that's exactly what he did I cannot believe he didn't back off mm. that was really weird to watch was right it, there uh, wasn't it looks like middle of the green just needs to sit down. It can't go too far because then the putt's going to be more difficult. And this looks pretty good, but needs to sit down. Very, very good putt. Turned the corner and now playing straight back into the wind. Looking at right around 285 to cover that left bunker. Hope it hangs on. Just carries enough. And it's in perfect shape now. Be an inch or so closer to it. So you can try and keep that heel from grabbing. Uh, nice control there. Really well judged. I mean, we often talk about the singular shaft length. So there are so many different things he has to adjust to that other players don't. Might be coming in with a smaller club. Ah, saw it. Well done for Bryson. So 
He is one under par, and that is five behind Peters. All pyramids, Bryson DeChambeau with an iron. Yeah, this is just uh, down the right-hand side. It slopes uh, down from the right towards the left down to the bottom of this hill. And that one will find the bunker where we saw Tiger Woods yesterday. Very, very awkward stance here, 189. Decent contact, but still needs to get up. Thank you, Mike. This was DeChambeau's third shot. This was just a moment ago, a couple of ridges that he has to deal with there. If it gets inside the bowl, this will work toward the hole like those second shots that you saw earlier. So not too bad. And he's got work left. Three feet coming back. Bryson DeChambeau. For bogey. All stemmed from the tee shot, iron in hand. He's got to flirt with that left hand portion of that, and that looks like he came out of it to the right. And at 498, well, no, that it's in that first cut. Bryson DeChambeau, second at 16. And that's going to just come up short of the green. Not too bad. And we'll see a lot of players in that area today. Got about 10 feet of this fairway grass to putt through here, but I like the choice in the putter. And that's good speed control like right there. Now. Yeah, good three. I mean, he was out of position off the tee in that rough, but a smart shot short of the green, and he walks away with a three. Resting Oof. on like a bar stool down there. Which you need to have when he's got four degrees aloft. He's hit a couple wow. terrific looking drives so here just, today. Just so you know, it's about 340 online. He's going to go to 1030 and try to hit it at a precise distance of 127. That is how precise Bryson DeChambeau is with his wedge game. And there you can see it pay off with a great look at birdie at 16. All right, DeChambeau, look where he's aimed for birdie. Trying to make back to back birdies here. That started going right pretty quick. A little up and down. I mean, uh, obviously uh, uh, a little inconsistent. But you know what stands out to me, George, is he's hitting driver and he's hitting it very straight and he's hitting it a long way and he's going to keep hitting it. Aim rhyme with uh, Hepka. <laughs> Brooks Kepka. Or Cooks. Cooks. <laughs> 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 yeah. Bryson DeChambeau's been cooking off the tee and. Well, I mean, that's a rare three wood. I just think driver for him there, we have to turn it too much. Uphill lie, 137. He should hoist this way up into the air. With some kind of drive. Wow. In position to pay it off. Shouldn't be all that much in it. Such a great second shot. It'd be great to pay it off. Oh. oh. That was really slow to cut, touch the edge and not go in. He can't believe it, neither can I. Now everybody's been missing that putt on the left. For him to get it high enough with that pace. This is the worst lie I've seen all week. Couldn't do anything else. There's no way that nine iron gets up and over. 30, they were saying. Yeah, he's talking about, you know, if he if he was swinging against a clock, he wants his arms to get to his hands to get to about 930 on the clock. Trying to throw it past this whole location. This is Great. a nice play here. And so because the two match, I think they help. Any little change he makes in a full swing, it affects the putting, putting in the full swing. But he's got them matched up, and he does both of them really, really well. Able to make that there. Our director, John Del Vecchio, got us a great shot there of exactly what you were talking about with DeChambeau and how he set up. Launch. 186. <laughs> It's been pretty consistent. He's been that 184, 186 ball speed. This down the right side. So he finds the, kind of the first level of rough. Oh, well, he might have a runner front edge. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. He flailed at that one, and it's gone about 120 yards. Anything 72 or less. And maybe your mindset changes as a player a little bit, too. Bryson on the way from the short rough. Uh, 
you going to come to rest? Yeah. A shot and DeChambeau to clean up here. Yeah, he drops one too. Yeah, it's a tough hole a second, you know, on that breeze. Now he cannot go in the right hand side. Wow, into the breeze with a five iron. Ooh, this those, is promising. Yeah, those shafts, you cannot bend them. They are like a telegraph pole. Boy, that's that. a good shot. That's a rip, isn't it? It's going to feed off that ridge, but uh, I think he's going to be yeah. very happy with that. Well, he rifled it at it, so that's all he could do. Took a hop. Oh, oh there's wow. your eagle. Wow, <laughs> nice eagle. <laughs> <laughs> what a putt. Boy, this guy has really turned into a good putter. Make a hover. It's high. It looks like he's trying to take on that bunker. It's turning. It's spinning. Oh, and it's going to be in the rough. Yeah. Sit Jump. No, I guess it didn't. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's, 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 it's not going to be too bad. That's ball of Dustin Johnson's yeah. and a nice one in. So pretty happy just to be in this position, punting for birdie. Did you remind him how much he's been in the gym and how many protein shakes he's been drinking? Far enough that he could uh, escape unencumbered. And uh, he's been putting these putts pretty well. And that one, oh, that's going to be a no sweat par for Bryson. Bryson's checked a lot of boxes. Four birdies, four bogeys, five pars. Bryson DeChambeau. Uh, 502 yards, and I tell you what, I mean, he's wailing away at it, George, but he's been driving it fairly straight. Just sounds differently. It does, and right there, that's going to run into that transition cut. He just had his fourth one of the day, and oh it's God, noon. Not bad. Oh, my God. Is this going to make it? No. He, he needed one. five. Wow. So... Bryson couldn't get it to fly. Well, you say 140 yards he was trying, Trev. Here today, Bryson DeChambeau's third on five. Well, this is a 40-yard bunker shot, George. And it's just so hard to control the spin from there. You have to almost make perfect contact, and it's just so difficult to do. But Especially downwind. May be here. It's a nice line. It hits. He's going to carry the middle of the green. What? Oh, yeah, that's. Well, I think you take it. It's there's, okay. There's that narrow strip. Second for DeChambeau. Right edge, Trevor. <laughs> yeah. Better Whoa. slow down. Right edge on green. Hit the green. Yeah. Let's see what uh, he can do here from about 12 feet. Two birdies in a row, just like the last hole, should sneak a little to his right. Did the wrong sneak. Bryson cleaning up, he hopes, at seven. Yep, stays at one under. Well, he's holding his balance, he's got his attention. I tell you, George, I mean, he has hit a lot of great drives today. I know a few have missed too much. Now, Bryson. Oh, can't quite get it over that ridge. 
Yeah, down, downwind, the ball, that getting a little bit more release. And it crests the ridge, second half going downhill. Oh, he had the line. He knew he missed, he knew by his reaction, he didn't hit it enough. It's funny how we know that split circuit of impact. So he taps in for his par there. It's a perfect for his slight draw. Well, that might be a nine iron. Oh, it looks good too. And it is. Wow, don't, <laughs> tell, don't tell me she's here driving a nine iron. Yeah, no eagles today here at nine. There it is. Wow. About it. First eagle of the day here at nine for DeChambeau. What a way to finish. Is a much, a must watch talent, this Bryson. He's the most interesting guy out here. Oh, very high. Starts up the right, drawing up the left hand side. All systems go. Did that. Uh end up in the fairway. Hit some poles. He's completely changed his spin and his accuracy. He opens up the face just a little more to dress. And he could open it up oh, a hair more than that. And that will be tough up the hill. And the ball wants to come back. It should stay up on that face of that little bowl right there. He thought I should say for birdie. Shambo now for birdie at the first. Got to hustle. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Did he scuff it? That's one of the worst putts he'll ever hit in his life, I think. Oh, man. To the right. Yeah, this thing goes more right than most people have been able to figure. It goes again. Well, that's wow. just throwing a shot away. Yeah, what a horrible bogey to start for Bryson. You know, these guys, they don't choke in their hands. They choke in their head. I mean, if, if you're going to say that word. Whoops. Big oh. high hook, way left, oh. way left. Wow. Well, I've you heard know, that before. They said the woods are full of long hitters. That's the case here. And DeChambeau's tee shot at the second landed on the fairway at eight. He's got 215 over the tree line now. So much for the woods being full of long hitters. He missed the woods. And uh, Roger told us in the break it'd be hard for him to get it over the tree. That would be out of his mentality, right, Zing? I mean, it is full go, full bore, start to finish. Boy, that sounded good. Boy, oh, it did. And he had some spin. And he's still got a good 12, 13 feet left. Gonna come back a little bit. I gotta tell you, I wasn't sure he could. Left is right. Wow. Big bull. Boy, that's nearly in the same place. Perhaps lying a little better. A little better lie, send it higher. Gonna land softer. Now it should take that slope to the right. Okay. And those folks behind three green have been watching all day. Admiration. They know how difficult that shot was. Let's see if Deshambo can make his par. Yep, safely done. So he gains a shot on leader. Patrick Reed, who is now just one shot in front of Matthew Wolf. Be surprised, 300 yards to get it past the one on the left, so that shouldn't be an issue. Well, he's going across that bunker, but I fear it's too far left. Governor, control it, man. Out of the left rough. 191. Oh, Not the greatest on, ball. ball was or green the grass was coming against and this is going left again. I think That's it got been, that front left bunker. Yeah, I did. That's a consistent theme though we've seen. Uh, yes. Left, left, left. Hit it the rough in the middle of the fairway to four. All right, DeShambo with his third. Not the easiest of bunker shots with this hole cut up on this upper shelf. He gets it up there the right distance, but uh, maybe a tough little pop. Yeah, nice up and down, two holes in a row. It's away with Aaron shots. Crowd goes wild. <laughs> no, exactly what you said, Ryan. Looking to pick up the team. Pulverized that. 
This is a monster. Oh my goodness. Trying to make a mockery of the fifth hole. Right over that tree line. Freshened a little bit for the moment. It's down and to the right. One of the changes he's made was to slightly open his face and address and so quit pulling his shorter clubs, Roger. Good looking shot here. Boy, it worked there. Beautiful, right at it. Oh my gosh, Tim. Saying, oh my gosh, Tim. That much? I wasn't trying to cut it that much. This hole 332 and tried to take some off that. Oh my goodness. Downhill lie out of the rough. Bluegrass rough. Yeah. Brilliance. Good job, right? Marvelous shot from DeChambo, who said his confidence is at an all time high. Chance to make it three birdies in a span of four. This is DeChambo looking to, for birdie at the sixth. Oh, a little pulley and a little break in it. So a missed opportunity here at the short par four for DeChambo, yet to get untracked on this Saturday with those two early bogeys suffered. Seeing if he can become one of the few to make it from behind this hole. Yeah, I don't think anybody has done that. Well, think again right now. <laughs> DeChambo who makes it look easy. And he picks up his first birdie of the day to eight. And a rip from the rough. Oh, boy, oh, does he take a swipe at that? Gosh, it came out left. Yeah, it did. Release up the hill here. Came out with uh, kind of yeah. a clank, and oh, he just judged that perfectly. Yeah, that's, that's such a hard shot to hit yes. close. Second shot. 239. Uh, this is a lie that I believe Mr. Oh. Faraday would call chewy. What a lash at that he took, and this is going at the left side of the green. Oh my goodness. Oh. And that should catch a slope and work its way back in toward the green. Yeah. He's like a silverback. That was like a sickle through a wheat field. Yeah, yeah. man. Oh, that one's carrying quite a bit of speed as well. Slow down. Yep. That was a yank. That one was a very quick transition there. Certainly not his best. A disappointing par for DeChambeau. I thought I would handle that for you, Raj, because I knew you couldn't believe it. Uh, well, I don't. Uh, this is turning at the very left side of the green. No way. Oh. It hangs oh, on. You know, one of the reasons they put this new tee back across that path was to try to, you know, catch up with how far these guys are hitting it with the steel of the club here. It's just going to be a little chop down on the ball. Pretty nicely done. Oh. Oh. Cheers. Oh. Oh. And does, and so we will see the final two later in our coverage at 17. Displayed this incredible strength with that shot at the ninth, especially. So, this is nothing for him. And he's going to have that big right to lefter zing that Whatever, dude. you can make, <laughs> but you've got to match it? it all up, right? Gravity will take its course. And out to the 12th. DeChambeau on the tee. Oh boy, he just unleashed fury on that one. 
It's staying up a little while, isn't it? <laughs> That's some hang time. Look at that. It's a, just in the semi-rough. That'll be fine. But it's against a little bit of breeze. No contest getting it over the tree. Yeah, wow. Just, just made it by about 80 feet. Okay. Yeah, you can see that coming. Yeah. Yeah. Go to 12. Deshambo. Oh, my God. Go, please. Oh, uh, yeah, that is appalling. That's it. It's a good thing he didn't hit it like yeah. he wanted. <laughs> that was interesting. Didn't even touch the hole, David. Did not deflect even. That is uh, it's a mind number right there, and that is quite a mind to numb. <laughs> no doubt. Hmm. Missed opportunity there. No way, that's short. Arliss, he lies three over there in the bunker at the par four, 13. DeChambeau with his lengthy putt. Going a little quicker than normal. Last hole, they were told to pick it up again, and uh, if they don't, they will go on the clock. Uh, good speed there. Up the tee at 14, the Shambo going full bore here. Yeah, bunkers left and right, but not in play. He'll go across those. Dude, I can't uh -oh. stop overdrawing it. Not good. Yeah, going left. There's out of bounds over there if he hits a tree. Yeah, it's not going right. to get that far left. But. He's ready to roll, isn't he? Here's the Shambo chopping out at 14 after that drive on way left. He has a huge false front to negotiate. Didn't even reach it. It's a good spot, though. Yep. Should if you're going to miss. And as you mentioned, a false front on this green, so he's got to pitch it from underneath the level of the green, get it on top. It should move to his right some when he gets up on top. Yeah, that's a lovely shot, actually. Good chance to save par. Yeah, and Bryson has more loft on his putter. That was a beautiful shot. The Shambo to Patin. Uh, one of the rare occasions that he doesn't hit driver. There's a little brook that runs across the fair. Oh, boy, and there's a, a miss with an iron off the tee. We've seen uh, Matthew Wolf do that a couple of times. Oh, Deshambo with his second shot on the way. Come on, honey. Go. 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 15. Oh, yeah, that's a good shot after a bad one off the tee. Yeah, he just straightens up there at the end. That, that'll be uh, that'll be four. And that's where it's going. Just over the little right edge of them. Should be good, I would think. <laughs> it is. Roger, it is down there <laughs> forever. <laughs> good. <laughs> He's flying with the ball down. See if it catches that Come on, spin like way. you know how to. Yeah, on, it'll work its way a little bit toward the hole, but. Both those sets are. If you don't have to hit fairways uh, here. Oh, we made it. Oh, oh just. Oh, I thought that. he would run out of speed, but he caught the lower <laughs> edge and falls in uphill. I think they had Bryson in mind when they built this new team ground back here. Wow. Although that's headed right, it appears. It's 325 to carry the last bunker, and he carried it. Oh, man. They so. added that last bunker in the restoration. Gil Hans did it because we've got to do something with these long hitters, and he just bombs it over that. 159 left to the hole. It looks horrible to me, but I think he can chop it out of here as strongly as he is. Knuckle right. Knuckle right. He just 
yanks it out of there. That's going to come off the slope. Why would you even try to hit a fairway? Look at that. This is just a whole new brand of golf that this golf course has never seen in a hundred years they've been playing here. That Bryson has decided to blaze this trail, Roger, and uh, take on a new philosophy on how golf should be played. This for back-to-back -back birdies to get within one of Wolf. So good. With all that power, he still has finesse and uh, wow. Hard to play this hole from the left side. And there's a narrow shoot back there. But he's headed right, Raj. Headed right. Yeah. Well, no problem, right? Well, he didn't hit driver, though, so. That's really not an issue. The lie is not horrible. The danger is left and short. Well, this is going at the I'm right sure. side of the green. We just saw Cabrera Bayo play a beautiful shot from right there. Or not. Or not. This is DeChambo. He's got his own method. Well, he's. That's a good shot. He doesn't yep. mind going against the grain, I tell you that. Looks like he read a little bit too much. Yeah, he didn't play that the eight or nine inches we heard. He played it just outside the hole. It's two very unorthodox styles. Going to go at it tomorrow for that U.S. Open trophy with Louis Oosthuizen and Shoffley. Laying in the weeds back there on him. So just three players under par. Full four. Good opener. Sure is. It's the best we've seen. Just dropping a little bit at the moment. Flight of this one down a little bit, shaping it right to left, right at it. If it gets up, oh, oh right. yeah, what a shot. What a start. So clutch. Well, that's the amazing thing. This ball might slip a little right as we saw Wolf's. Look at the muscles in his back. Hold it all the way. Cold yank. Ugh. And that can actually put a little doubt in the back of your mind when you miss a first one. You know you're going to have a bunch of them. Pops that right in, so the final pairing with a couple of pars to start things off. Well, he played it from the eighth fairway yesterday. Way left. Talk about left. Well, this is good, though. That looks perfect. Yeah. There's a big draw up there up and against the wind. It's just hard to know how good that is, really. Cut in there. He is trying to move it left to right. It's right of the hole. Oh, it's a good shot, Raj. A little deep, but you got to love to get on this green. That'll be treacherously fast. Look at the difference. He's playing it way out to the left. Oh, just barely touched it. Watch this run. Oh, it's just maintained the same pace for so long. Wow, that's a good effort. It is. Thank you. Maybe, it, here. maybe it is time to turn the clock back to 1959. Yeah. No burner towards the right corner yeah, of the fairway. Not sure. Well, that's where he didn't want it, but this flag in a little bowl. It's going to guarantee you some kind of putt around the hole to make. That's where he's going. A little kick left on it. Uh, oh, it turns out doesn't lovely. need it. Beautiful. This looks like it's challenging that bunker down the left. Yeah, well past that, but in the rough. Good angle. Yeah, 74 and 84. <laughs> I found the rough plenty here. <laughs> Well, you, and you've got to remember that his irons, his short irons are immensely long as well. They're all the length of a six iron. Yep, trying to play a cool shot here, trying to chase it up. 
cool it was. And that is really well done. Up the slope, not much break. Yes! So Bryson DeChambeau, what a start. One under par through the first four. We have talked about the difficulty of these opening holes. Over that big tree on the left. The wind's going to the right. The bunker's in play. And it's going to depend on the lie in there. I chunked it, Tim. Getting a little fat. Why, Pelican? Yeah. Told his caddy, Tim, I chunked it. Well, not too bad. He's up there on the front edge. That is going to be a long. This is just a little 90 footer up the hill. <coughs> Fantastic, really. Got some work left, but that's uh, pretty good. Yes. And how about the way DeChambeau gets through the tough opening five? One under. Like this just starts decision. up the right, drawing a little bit. I like this club, Roger. Maybe a little too far left. Oh, now what? Oh, Ooh, boy. That's where he's going. Chunk. I'm going to run out that much. Yeah, it's a bit unlucky. Oh, being that's, left. that's still a good shot from that line. Right. Trying to come back yeah. left at the end, Raj. But that'll be a par for DeChambeau at the sixth. Gives the rest of the field behind him a little more hope. Oh. On with Wolf. Still not quite in for par. Only four paces of green right. Gosh, it's going left. Huh? This pull of left. Going to catch the left side, maybe. Might roll off. Josh, on the edge, left Raj, in the air. Collar. It's lucky he didn't get caught up in that thick stuff. Really lucky. Careful not to hit too hard down on it. Have it pop up and come up way short. Little work left to remain bogey free. Here's the tee shot. It's a dog leg to the right. The fairway cambers to the left. This starts up the left. Is cutting. If this is too far left, we'll be okay. Right on the edge, and oh, my aching nerves. Shambo down from 183 and kind of an old thin divot over there. Yeah, so kind of weird. A lot of run into the thick stuff there. Back to eight. Chop. Or to Shambo, and that is going to run out. So uh, a little longer than he would want there, that's for sure. There was actually a lot more in it right there and just needed a touch more pace. All right, back here at nine. Launch. Here we go. Wow. 192 mile an hour ball speed. That is high. Down the right side, it appears. Oh, gets a good hop. That is enormous. Yes, it is. All right, DeChambeau with his second. Good line, safely into the center of the green. He's got the speed figured out perfectly. Look at this. How about that? Driver wedge eagle on the par five. Impressive. Well, I think the putt was the most difficult of the three shots, yeah. Roger. Yeah. No Agreed. question. Adrenaline pumping through his veins right now, but it's something you have to control. Nine iron here. He's got it holding its line, and it's just right of the hole. 
It's going to bound up there, Roger. This is a beautiful shot if it stays right there. I have no, Still idea. A good one. I have no idea. <laughs> Good shot. Yeah, thank you. Well, she did. It's a great swing. Well, that pace, not as good as it has been. Right. Takes care of that. That putting stroke looks so uncomfortable, but he feels so locked in. That's why he seems so precise with that line on his ball lining up. He feels like it's a machine. Tough driving hole. Yeah, it is. It's tight. The fairway slants, and uh, but he's going to use that wind off his right like a wall. Push it a little. Another sky ball at 133 feet, apex in the air. And look at that. Almost oh, to climb up in there. He's going to land it a little shorter than what he wanted. And he's going to come up no, just shy that of the green. That's soft. Chambo for birdie. I've never considered using another club putter all the way. I think it's the right choice, Raj. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Another one Thank lands you. here for DeChambeau. Eagle at the ninth. <laughs> birdie at the 11th. And the lead right now Side is nine. three. It could be more if Wolf doesn't make his par. That one right. Uh, the wind's not doing that, Tim. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, now there's a, a nice little break. Man, he almost swung himself off his feet. Gosh, just didn't draw it, Tim. Man, short of the big ridge, it's going to swing it left. He's going up across it. Later and that's just going to go like crazy. Mm -mm. That's not what we were looking for. He just had a bad leave. Well, now it's making a U-turn. Come on. Well, and that's literally all I had in that place. Yeah, a defensive effort, that's for sure. Not bad. The 12th, but uh, no blood. That's not bad, because it should be short of the hole, which is where you want to be. And it's at the left side of the green. Yeah, that's really oh my well gosh. done. Uh, he thought it might get a little farther up into the green, but that's not bad. Well, we definitely need to get that win. Almost just continues to fuel him. Like if he stopped and relaxed, it could never get the engine revved up again. He says the more information he gets, the less complicated well, things are. Left, Tim. And that's the opposite of most. Pretty good pot, Tim. The thing with left in the middle, dude. Yeah. Ooh, sneaks it in the right side. out low and left. Oh, that is way, way below the surface. Yeah, that's there. not good. There. Dead left, Tim. Yeah. It looks like DeChambeau has got a decent lie over here on the upslope. Yeah, I thought he was a little further left than that. That's pretty clever indeed. Could have gotten that a little higher maybe, but boy, he took a chance, Danny. Barely landed. Perfect. Yeah, that is a good putt. So a swing at the 14th in favor of DeChambeau. It's now out. Clear of Wolf by four. Yeah, so you got to hit it about 260 or so to get it across a hill, and then gravity will pull the ball down and to the left. Good ball. And this going up the center. We'll see what kind of hop it gets because it starts to go left. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Hey, Bryson is suddenly playing a historically 
great round of golf. Not one other player in the field has been under par. There's nobody on the course under par at the moment except for that guy right there. Back there. Okay, this a little left of the hole. Boss on a good line. Perfect. That's exactly. I mean, it's okay. It's up there. Barely got it moving. Yeah. And you would say on, on most other courses, even U.S. Open courses. Four shots would be a very comfortable four shots uh, over three holes. That's for I know, sure. but got the, it's all here, it's right there. Well, he went full bore with driver. Yeah, he sure did, and he's trying to take it across the trees on the left hand side. This may be perfect. It is. Oh, Roger. My goodness. Wow. That is down there oh, so far. It's a different game, Gary. It's just a different game. Oh, man. No fear. a little left of the hole. Oh, that's left a little center. deep. Oh, it catches the slope. That drew. It didn't get held up by the wind. No, it stayed up there, so that's a nice pretty held slick up by the putt wind. down the hill. He was there last night when DeChambo hit three wood and driver after driver. He did the same thing at Olympia Fields after his round on Saturday. There you go. Perfect pace. Yep. That's what he needed, Gary. Yep, just walk up, tap it in. Increase the lead by at least one more. It's something that we've really never seen. We showed it earlier, but a long time ago. So worth sharing with everybody again. There was not a. He doesn't seem. Boy, another gem. He doesn't seem too concerned, Roger. And looked at the carry on that 324, uh, just in that. Just rough. Uh, whatever they call that cut, the, not the primary. That was good. Secondary. The secondary. Bad. It's just tough. Is it just tough? Right? Here's a downhill part now. Chugging back uphill. Okay. Stays three under on the day, six under for the championship. Well, uh, Bryson DeChambeau is going to validate. All the second guessers are going to have to rethink what this guy's doing. And this one is going to miss right. Well, he's going to win this championship and he set an all time record for fewest fairways hit by a champion. He hit 23 out of 56 fairways this week. Seven iron. Low. He wants to scamper up the hill if he can. It's not going to get there, Raj. A little reminiscent of Jeff Ogilvy, who came down that slope and got it up and down. Just one bogey on the card. Shambo wants to keep it that way. Trying to pick it up, pitch it deep into the green, get it to turn around and turn. To use that slope, Raj. Here it comes. Here it comes. Well, the man that knows all the angles, you know he's going to know this. Smart play. Carry over to Wolf's ball. <laughs> and Bryson DeChambeau is indeed a U.S. Open champion. Wait for it.